What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossBarTech.com and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to output text and also how to use variables. Now I'm going to combine them into just one video here because they're both easy to do on their own so I figured why not just combine them into one video, it'll make life easier. Now let's get started. Now if you guys don't know how we got to this point, please watch my other videos and you'll be caught right up. So we're going to finally be coding. So all PHP code has to start with a less than symbol, a question mark, then PHP, then it ends with a question mark and greater than symbol. It starts with this and ends with this and all the code is done in between. So now how do we output text? Now that's really simple. To do that, we just have to type in echo, hit space, use the quotations, type in our message or whatever text we want to type in. I'm going to type in hello world here. I'm going to use a exclamation mark. We're going to end it with the quotes and we're going to use a semicolon. Every time we finish a statement, we have to end it with a semicolon. Make sure you guys remember that. Now we're going to hit save. I'm going to go to my browser here. We're going to refresh it. And as you can see, it worked. It printed out hello world. Now they're very simple. Now let's get started with variables. I'm going to delete this. Every time we write a variable, we have to start with a dollar symbol or money symbol, whatever you want to call it. Each variable has to have a dollar or money symbol in the beginning of it. Then we got to give it a name. I'll call mine blue. Now we have to make it equal to something. So I'm going to hit space, type in equal symbol. I'm going to hit space again. And I'm going to make it equal to a uh, string. So let's type in the quotations here. We're going to type in a text. I'm going to type in some text. I'll write some text. I'm going to end it with a quotation mark and a semicolon. Again, it's a statement. It has to be ended with a semicolon. Now, we created a variable. And we made it equal to the text, some text. Now, how do we uh, output this? So I'll show you guys that right now. We're going to use the, uh, echo again. I'm going to hit space and I'm going to type in the variable name, which is dollar symbol blue. And make sure we use a semicolon. I'm going to hit save here. Let's go to our browser and let's go refresh it. And it worked. It printed out some text. Now, every time we want to output something onto the screen or to the browser, we have to use echo. Now, there's another way we can uh, use variables. Now we can, if you guys want to use numbers, you don't have to use quotation marks. So I'm just going to type in the group of numbers here. Let's do four, five, 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 whatever, six. So I'm going to hit save and I'm going to hit refresh on the browser. And as you can see, it printed out the group of numbers. We didn't have to use the quotation marks for numbers. Remember that. Now let's create another variable. Again, we got to use the dollar or money symbol, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call this one red and we're going to make it equal to something. So I'm going to make this one equal to uh, the text. We're going to use uh, quotations for that. Uh, I'll type in uh, blue again. We're going to end this with another quotation mark and end it with another semicolon. So now we got another variable here, which is uh, named the red and it's equal to the text blue. Now we have two variables. The first one, we, I named blue, it's equal to four, five, 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 six, and the second one I named red, which is equal to the text blue. Now we can combine these two together. To do that, we have to uh, use the echo again. So I'm gonna delete this here. I didn't really have to delete that, so let me write that back. Let me put that back on. The period. Then we're going to type in our second variable, which starts with a dollar symbol and it's red. So if you want to combine two variables, we just, uh, we just write the variable out, use this period or dot here and write the other variable and it should combine them two together. It should combine those two together. So let's hit save here. I'll hit refresh up here. And as you can see, combining those two together, that's pretty cool, right?
All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if it was helpful, like this video and please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.